Happy Labor Day, guys. How are we doing? Happy Labor Day, Jenny. How are you doing, little yeah. Skip? Boy, the, lab the yeah. Lakers were laboring last night, weren't they? I can't tell. Yeah. <laughs> we got to know. Boy, the Lakers were lucky last night, weren't they? How you like, Woo! my Yo, you like I, my Labor I, Day outfit? I, I don't know. I'm looking at Jenny right now. <laughs> you ain't looking at Jenny. Oh, these are good. I brought the good stuff because I knew. I knew you. <sighs> Yeah, hell yeah, you're labor day, isn't that? You're gloating about that? Yeah, it's, the summer's officially over. <laughs> and I I'm glad. That's all it's come to this for Undisputed. Okay. Thank you for pointing that out, Shannon. That is what it's come to. Guys, uh, we have so much to talk about from the weekend, so let's get to it. After dropping game one on Friday, the Lakers evened up the series against the Rockets last night at a game apiece. L.A. saw their 16-point halftime lead evaporate into a deficit in the third quarter, but fought back in the fourth behind LeBron's eight points to go on and win 117-109. to LeBron finished with 28 points, 11 rebounds, nine assists, and two blocks. So, Shannon, what was the biggest reason the Lakers won? And four steals. You left out the four steals, Jenny. That's important. Sorry about that. I mean, we need a complete stat line, right, Skip? <laughs> when you go get a physical, you get a complete battery of workup. You know, you get blood pressure. You get all that stuff, right, Skip? I wouldn't know. I never did. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron. LeBron led the way last night. He was aggressive. He took it upon himself. Yes, I'm going to get people involved. AD, I need you to do your thing. But I'm going to make sure I get myself involved. He was driving to the basket. He realizes, look. I have a decided advantage over whomever is guarding me. Either they're too small or they don't have enough sandbags in their back pocket. They can't weight themselves down, anchor themselves down to keep me from attacking the rim. So he was on attack mode last night. He got a couple of three balls to drop, Skip. Um, you know, sometimes it's a blessing and a curse. He watch one of those things fall, and then, you know, he like he be wanting to heat check. Oh, see, you, you actually <laughs> made an objective point. <laughs> but I thought he played, I thought he played extremely well last night, Skip. Um that pace that the, the Rockets play at, Skip, yeah, they're small. So if they're small, what, what must they do? They can't get into a whole bunch of half-court sets. They need to get up and down to give themselves an advantage, especially if you have bigs on the court. I think Frank Bogle is learning this is not the series for traditional big men. Dwight Howard and JaVale McGee probably not going to play as much as they would like to play, Skip. But I thought LeBron having to play 39 minutes, Skip, and you're asking a man, his side, you had, so just imagine if you ask Carl Malone, say, mailman, we need you to play 40 minutes tonight, but we need you to do John Stax Stockton's role also. We need you to run the point. We need you to make sure we get in and out of sets. And as a matter of fact, you know, we want you to play guard one of these small guys on the perimeter from time to time. And he was able to do that. I thought LeBron played unbelievable. AD played unbelievable. The first half, Skip. I don't think they could have played any better than what they played the first half. They did a great job of mixing it up. They were jumping in and out of zone. They were playing man coverage. But we know one thing about the Houston Rockets, Skip. Mm. They're going to take a bunch of threes. Mm. And you just, like, Skip, when you fly in and the pilot come on, uh, we're about to uh, uh, mm -hmm. incur, you know, mm -hmm. you know, get a little turbulence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so what do you say? Well, I sure hope this thing don't last long. So you just brace for it. You know the onslaught is coming. You just brace for it. They put up 20, they got 22 threes total. They made nine in the third quarter. Mm. So you just hope, I got myself a little cushion, they don't just blow us out of the water. Mm. LeBron them brace for that thing, and then in the fourth quarter, Skip said he loved fourth quarter. Mm. He loved guys that shows up in the fourth quarter. He talked about how Donovan Mitchell showed up in the fourth quarter. He talked about Jamal Murray. He talked about some of the greats. You always count on Kobe and Mike. <laughs> Mike got showed up in the fourth quarter mm. and put on a virtuoso. Mm. And defense. Skip, did you notice my guy in year 17, mm. how he's sliding his feet, moving side to side, up and back, front to back? Mm. I got, brought me a little, you know, I just wanted to put me a little package together. You know, a little oh. package, a little, little package. And let's take a look at the little package we got together. Oh, I thought you were almost finished. No, 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 no right here, right here. Oh. Look at this, Skip. Well, now the show is going to be over. Oh, no, Skip. You, mm. I keep telling you, you yeah. can't sneak apple juice into my type of party. I'm going to throw it up out of there. I'm going to throw it and you out of there. And you saw what he did on Friday night. Poor Russ. Russ, I can't even catch a break. Mm. But I thought LeBron, AD was unbelievable. They got great contribution from uh, Keith Morris and Kyle Kuzma and Rondo. Ooh, mm. that's a, that'll play our Rondo skill. Mm. But, you know, we won one, about to be 2-1. Mm. You don't think so? My turn? Yeah, your turn. So, at the end of Friday's show, who went way out onto the end of the limb and predicted that Houston would win game one? Who did that on this show? You did scaredly. I did. Scaredly. I did it. Scary. 
I did it. I said, it's going to be a huge upset, and it was. Okay. <sighs> then what did I tweet ahead of last night's game? The Lakers will win tonight because they had better win tonight. That was a game they almost had to win. No such so thing with LeBron on the court. Yeah, yeah, we'll see about that. So you said LeBron was unbelievable. Yes. AD was unbelievable. Yes. <sighs> Friday night, LeBron James in the fourth quarter of a winnable game went zero for three. <laughs> I'm just putting this into context. Okay. He owed his team, and he looked like it at the start of last night's fourth quarter because he had that, that scared look on his face. He was doing this. Oh, I better attack the basket like I know I have to, and if they foul me, I got to go to the free throw line, and I got to try to make a free throw. Well, that's what he did. You huh? know, and I know he has some trouble with – Late game free throws, and the later it gets in the fourth quarter, he has a whole lot of trouble. What about last night? Late game. Well, once they're front running on the lead. See, there you go. Well, that's that's just it. <laughs> was it was it tied? Was it close? No. When he made his two free throws in the fourth, they were down to start the fourth. Remember? Okay. I I said okay. that. Okay. And I'm going to give you one plus mark here. Okay. LeBron to start the fourth said, "I have to attack," and it wasn't like a huge onslaught of attacking. The first play out of the fourth quarter, he just said, I'm going to put my head down and drive this. Right. I tell you again and again and again and again and again, and again, he's still the greatest driver of the basketball yeah. ever. He can freight train to the basket like nobody can, and he freight trained. And Jeff Green, who had a kind of a disappearing act night last night, usually he's a key factor mm -hmm. for them. He just sort of watched LeBron, let him go right by and go up and dunk it. At least Jeff Green could have gotten his way and at least fouled him, make him shoot those Well, he tried throws. to make him pump, Skip. But I mean, I don't think he thought LeBron was going to dunk it. I, whatever he did, he did not get in his way at all. Maybe he still loves LeBron because they used uh, to be Ah, there teammates. you go. Come on, Skip. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> so, now let's put last night in the grandest context. The Lakers were down 0-1 and they have an onslaught of an explosion of their own mm -hmm. in the first quarter going into the second quarter. And who knew that not Marcus Morris, but Markeith, his twin brother, would hit four three-point shots last night? Who knew that? He hit three in about a minute and 11 seconds. Yeah. And that was the difference that sparked and it just detonated mm -hmm. a run that put the Lakers up 42 to 21. That's a 21-point lead with 10.39 left in the second quarter. And I thought, this is way over. Didn't no. you think that? No. Oh, oh I did. Mm -mm. These are the Lakers that Shannon Sharp says are prohibitive favorites to win this year's championship. Not, and not. these are the tiny little rockets, the little miniature rockets. And I'm thinking, AD's going to get whatever he wants. They got hot hands. I'm thinking, this is going to be the blowout of blowouts. And what happened from that moment on until... The 325 mark of the third quarter. That's only about a quarter and a half of basketball. What happened over that stretch? Would you believe the Rockets won that stretch of the game 64 to 38? Think about that. Yeah. LeBron, unbelievable. AD, unbelievable. They got wiped off the court for a quarter and a half to the tune of 64 to 38. I want everybody out there to let that sink in. The Lakers gave up a 64 to 38 run to the little tiny rockets. Mm -hmm. That's a bad sign. That was actually a moral victory for the underdog. What do we know about the Houston Woo! Rockets, Skip? What do, what do we know about the Rockets? What have you said about the Rockets? They're going to take, and they're going to, and if they shoot 35 40%, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. before, before last night, teams that had made at least 22 threes in a playoff game were 18 and 2. Mm -hmm. So that's 90%. So you rarely lose. So they made all those threes. How many did they make in the fourth quarter? That's all that matters. Th that's my all point. That skip. Skip. All you, that matters. Skip, let me ask you a question. What happened? You have to weather the storm. Remember? You got lucky. They cooled off. In fact, they went ice cold in the fourth quarter. They made two of 12 in the fourth quarter, and you got off the hook. So, but you didn't. But you didn't say anything about when they made nine in the third quarter. Mm. You didn't say they got hot. See, all you do is look at the negative. What about the positive that they did in the third quarter? 64 to 38. Okay, That's they, a bad sign, man. Well, I'm, I'm good teams don't give up a 64 to 38 run to an underdog. I know a team that played Ooh. on Saturday night. What Ooh. run did they give up? 
They gave it up in the first uh, quarter, and then what happened? Hold on. Here hold on. they came. So is that a part of the game? They so let, stormed let, back. No, they, hold on. Let me ask you a question. Is that a part of the game so they're not four quarters in the game? This was in reverse. This is we get the big lead, and we get blown off the floor. Y'all did. Woo. Y'all got a big lead. He got, so y'all lost. That's the Lakers. So here's the point of what happened last night. My team, the Rockets, was stuck with Russell Westbrook. And your team, the Lakers, should be very thankful he was a Rocket last night. Russell grew up in Southern California, not too far from where we sit right now, a huge Lakers fan. And last night, he played like he was a huge Lakers Man, fan. Stop. It was eyesore shocking. I've never seen such a display of turnovers, out of control, nightmare turnovers, seven turnovers. And you want to talk about Westbrook? Whew. Westbrook after Westbrook after Westbrook. He was the reason they lost. He was the biggest reason you won. He was your MVP last night. Well, but, but hello, where Ooh. did this come? I, I didn't see you tweet that on Friday night mm. when he played well. No, I tweeted and tweeted and tweeted. You should follow me. Mm. You should give me a follow no, today. You. Go back and look at my timeline. I dare anybody out there. Go back and look at my timeline. I kept tweeting about Russell Westbrook is going to lose this game for the Rockets. They won the Friday night game one in spite of him and his turnovers and his out of control play. Big and he three. Even, even Russell, who's like as proud and arrogant as they come, he's a warrior. And even he admitted that right now, I'm just running around out there. I got to look at the film and try to figure out how to be efficient. He was nightmarish last night. Right. And you should have been applauding every dribble that he took. Why? Because he. He would just, when he did decide to drive it, he'd try to drive it between three Lakers and lose it. Right. If he did get in the lane successfully, he would wheel and throw it to nobody because he had no plan. Right. He's completely out of control. And if you look at what has happened to Russell Westbrook in the five playoff games he's played so far, just, just go back. Go back to the 25 games before the pandemic hit. He was rolling. Right. He's averaging, in those 25 games, he was 32 points, eight rebounds, and seven assists. Yeah. Not exactly Oklahoma City triple-double for a whole year numbers, but still the 32 points and eight and seven, shooting 52.7% from the field, that's extraordinary. That's championship basketball right. for the Rockets. Right. And all of a sudden, remember what happened? He tested positive. Right. He had COVID. Yeah. And then he hurt his quad. Yes. I don't know if it was just bruised or mm -hmm. pulled or whatever right. it was. And he missed the first four right. playoff games against OKC. Mm -hmm. And then he came back. And guess what he's done since he came back? The guy who was averaging 32 for 25 games before the pandemic is now averaging 15.6 and a grand total of 4.4 assists through right. five playoff games. He is shooting 39% from the the field after 52.7 mm -hmm. in those 25 right. games. He's now shooting for the playoffs 17% from three, and he's making a grand total of 47% of his free throws. These are numbers you cannot overcome. These are loser numbers. As hard as he plays, as much as he will rebound, and he did lead them in rebounds last night with 13, I will give him that. He has become an offensive liability. What were you able to do? that you didn't do in game one last night. You double James. Right. Why were you able to successfully do that? Right. Because usually he just gives it up to Russ, and it's right. flying at the basket, right. and he's going to dunk it or get right. to the free throw line. Right. Last night, I don't know what got into him. Russell Westbrook just stood still, caught the ball. They dared him, which they should. They should right. just the, – every all five Lakers should just go sit underneath the basket when he's got the ball. So, in other him. words, they did to Russell what the Rockets had did to Rondo on Friday night. Mm. Dare him to shoot. Well, that was his first game that he had played. Skip, you could, okay, you just mentioned the man had COVID. The man had a strained hamstring, mm -hmm. I mean a quad, and so he's trying to get back in shape, but you don't factor that in. So what the hell was Rondo? Rondo missed six months, remember? I don't really care right now about Rondo because he helped you more than he hurt you. But Skip, that, but see, that's the thing, though. You said, okay, Rondo helped us last night. What about Friday night? Russ helped them Friday night. Then all you do is harp on the neck. Come on, get a guy credit. Okay, I give him credit. Rondo played great last night. Yeah. Yes. He was a big factor last night, and his on-ball defense of James bothered James because he yes. stole it from him once and, and laid him. it up, <laughs> picked his pocket. And James has a little bit of trouble with Rondo because he can't 
get, get his handle going as, as smoothly. Mm -hmm. But still, they doubled James much of the night. Yes. And James still had a, a very good game, yes. right? Yeah. That'll work. He's James Harden. Yeah, I'll take that. And yet, once he doubled, Russ would just stand at the three-point line, and Russell attempted the most threes he's attempted since Christmas Day. Think about that. That is just wrong, wrong, wrong. And he obviously went one for seven from three. Right. In the fourth quarter, he had three wide-open threes. Just wide open. Just yeah. here. We dare you. Yes. Go ahead, Russ. Right. Shoot it. He missed all three of them. That's a potential nine points. What's the final score of this so, game? So, so, let me, so, let me get this, so, so let me get this right, Skip. They make 22 of 53 threes. You want them to make 30. Well, Markeith Morris made four, so sometimes people have aberration nights. Okay, what about, what about P.J. Tucker? Remember the last game he played? Mm -hmm. He was one for seven. I mean, he might have been over from the three-point line. Yeah. He drove the ball and put it in. Last night, he was four for seven. Yeah. Are you factoring into that? All you do is factor in when guys of the Lakers play well, but you don't factor in when any of the other auxiliary guys play I well for other really teams. I care about all those. I care about Russell Westbrook is the co-star of the Houston Rockets, and right now, he is killing them. If you look at their starting lineup last night, if you look at the first four besides Russ, look look at the numbers they put Yes! Up. It goes 8 of 16, 7 of 10, 5 of 10, 6 of 12, and if we go to one bench player, 5 of 10. So that's the five best players on the Rockets last night, including Daniel House, go 31 of 58. That's over 50%. Yes. And, and my guy Russ, he goes 4 of 15 and 1 for 7 from 3. It's a killer. It's suddenly become... Your Achilles heel is none other than Russell Westbrook. Well, Skip, if you double if you double a team's best player, you're going to leave someone open, and you're doing that for a reason. Okay. So you hopefully we double off of him, and the guy's not making shots. Get so what? You want to send Russ to the bench? No, I want them to send him to the hoop because back in December, January, February, yes, what he did when when James got doubled. The ball got kicked to Russ, and all of a sudden, it's a super highway to the basket because he can hurt you the way very few six foot three inch quote unquote point guards can hurt you flying yeah. to the rim. Right? Is he quite as athletic as he used to be? No, he's not. Is has he lost some confidence with the basketball in his hands? Yes, he has. But all I want to see him do is just attack, attack, attack. If he's standing out there free and Skip. there's nobody on him, just attack. Skip, you do realize that takes a lot of effort to do that, right? It's kind of like a running back. Mm -hmm. You see Derrick Henry rushes for 180 yards on 25 carries. People automatically assume, why don't you give it to him 50 times? Well, yeah, that's great logic. But it takes a lot. To exert that kind of energy and to just get to the basket time after time after time, absorbing contact after contact. That's unrealistic. As great as Jordan was, could fly through the air. He didn't drive the ball every time. Kobe, as great as he was, he didn't drive the ball every time, Skip. That's unrealistic to say every time a guy gets the ball, because he can drive the ball, he should just drive the ball. You and I both know that's not going to happen because it's unrealistic. Russell Westbrook. I'm going to call him Brooke on this case. West, Russell Westbrook averaged a triple-double for three straight years mm -hmm. in Oklahoma City. It's impossibly great, and it's mostly because of extreme energy for four quarters. Yes. That's how he did that. Yes. That's who he is, right. what he is. He's only 31. He's not like 41. But that's a foot skip. To do that, you know that takes a lot of effort. And he's had a lot of surgeries on those knees. He's not, as you mentioned, he's not as athletic. He's still athletic. I mean, Russ losing some athleticism still puts him at the top of the charts when it comes to athletic point guards. We get that. But you're not taking into any consideration the man had COVID. Mm. You're not taking into any consideration he was out for two weeks with a strained quad. Mm. You don't take any of that. You just think he should just pick right up where he left off. Five it doesn't happen. Five playoff games. And yet he had one good moment, and it – actually came at the expense of your man, LeBron James. It was late in the third quarter, and he had just one moment. If we could see what happened on the baseline, LeBron had him, and all of a sudden he didn't have him. Here's LeBron guarding Russ. LeBron, what are you doing? That was, that was horrible defense. What, what are you doing? Oh, so you want to show the oh, – hold on, hold oh, on. Tell me. Wait, well, LeBron, you see, what are you see, doing? You see what you did? You see what you did? LeBron, don't give up the baseline. You, you just gave up a, a layup to a six-foot-three guy. Because, what are you doing? Plus, what, but what was Russ doing? 
was Russ driving the ball? Yeah. So, so you play the tendencies. He normally pulls up. So you're he playing. He normally pulls. I hope he doesn't. You just said he wasn't driving the ball because he this was just. This is the first game I've ever seen him just pull up and pull up and pull up. Skip. You told me you had you Russ attempted the most threes he had ever attempted since Christmas. Now you want a flip side of he drives by LeBron and you I say told LeBron. This is the only good moment. Is really the only thing he did right all night. So that what, was it. I so what it should to LeBron you. have played him for? Huh. Since he was jacking up shots all night, what should LeBron have played him to do? What's the cardinal rule of playing defense that you get taught in <laughs> church league? <laughs> Don't give up the baseline. Skip. If a guy's just shooting the shots, he, Russ was pulling up, shooting threes, shooting the mid-range. He wasn't getting to the basket. Mm. So I'm playing him to do that. Mm. It's kind of like Harden. You play, it, it's so hard to guard Harden because he can get by you, he can step back, plus he can pull up. So you're kind of at a disadvantage because you really don't know what he does mm. because he's so herky-jerky. Mm. Russ had, was just pulling up. You just said Russ disappointed you because he was pulling up. Mm -hmm. Now he goes base like, bro, don't give up that. Bron says, well, I'm playing him to shoot it because that's what he's been doing all night. He was resting. He was resting. And then he got him back. I'll give you this with that. It was, it was the basic chase down block in the lane. But what was Russ doing? Russ didn't know what he was doing. He got caught and he decided to go up as he drove to the left and shoot it a, a little right-handed jump shot in the lane. He yeah. goes up to shoot a little right-handed jump shot. We're, we're seeing LeBron. Do you just realize that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we do want to see. Oh, no. LeBron can still skip. This year 17. How's a man head on the rim in year so, 17? So I, I want people to think about this. Russ drives left and then at the last second decides to go up and shoot a one-handed right-handed shot right. right into the teeth of who's coming behind But him. he doesn't know he's coming behind okay. How many times do you ever... Let me ask you a question, Skip. How many times have you seen a help side defender come chase down and block a shot in the lane like LeBron did last night? Not very often. Obviously, if you're six foot three inch Russell Westbrook and you're six foot nine inch LeBron James, Russell has to know he has to shoot that how? left handed Skip, or don't how? shoot it. Skip, he had the guy beat. He had beat he his not. guy originally. He yes, did he did. Beat. Nope. He was he, he was lost. As he said after the game, I just don't know what I'm doing right now. Okay. Enough about that. Are we gonna talk about A D? He oh, we go. No, 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 no. I no. Now, see, you see what you did right there? Mm. Oh, he was great. Mm. I need that passion. Mm. I need that energy when you say, all done. I need that right now. Mm. I'm going to let you take it away. Mm. AD was magnificent. Mm. I'm going to let you have this. I don't, I don't want to talk about AD because AD was magnificent. But I so, need that passion and energy when you say, all done. So I need that right now. My favorite moment of the night came with 32.7 seconds left. <laughs> And it was LeBron in the lane, if we could see this. What did he do? A little Close the away, door. A little Close the door. Fadeaway. Close the door. Now, and this is vintage LeBron front runner shot. This is. Oh, now he front running. Yeah, here he goes. Now he front running. Yeah. End of the game. It's a six point game. It's over. It's 32 seconds left. They're up six. And here we go. And LeBron shoots a little fadeaway in the lane. Maybe we don't have it yet, but that's okay. Oh, no. So it was over. Yeah. I know a team. That put them up eight, and he goes beating his chest. Yeah, I did it. Skip. I clutch shot at him. Skip, you say you said it was over. That was clutch. Skip, you said it was over. Now I know a team that was up five with mm. twenty seconds mm. in an NBA Finals Game Six. Really? Do you know that team? Yeah. Are you familiar with that? Mm. So the game isn't. Hold on. You know what? The Boston Celtics thought it was over mm. with point five seconds on the clock. Was it over, Skip? I'm glad you brought that game up, okay. that Game Six, <laughs> because last night LeBron James passed Ray Allen, the great Ray Allen for three-point shots made in playoffs, career playoffs. Yes! Ray Allen, and it, it let everybody sit back and remember, that was the guy who saved LeBron's legacy. That was the guy who made the greatest clutch shot I've ever seen after LeBron LeBrick the three to tie, and it gets offensive rebound to Chris Bosh, kick to Ray Allen, and he makes it from the corner. I couldn't believe it, but I, it, it was fitting. LeBron finally passed him in three-point makes. Because the only one that really countered LeBron that saved him from being two and seven in the in finals was the one made by the great Ray Allen in Game Six. And I want people, like you say, Glad I want you brought that up. I want people at home to realize this: LeBron James is the only player in NBA history that's not allowed to have teammates to do their job. 
Everybody mm. else can have a teammate to do their job. Mm. Metal World Peace hits a three-point shot. Mm. That's what he was supposed to do. Yep. Steve Kerr, John Paxson, mm. everybody have teammates to do what they're supposed to, but not LeBron. Because if you're the GOAT, you got to do all that by yourself oh. when nobody else has. Well, the GOAT didn't do it by himself. He did it last night. Okay. Him and all AD. Right. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed. Or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.